Damon, I present to you your new car. This isn't a joke. This is the, really the next project car. car. Can you guess what it is? Congratulations. Say hello to the brand new daily driven exotics Aventador. Boom, right there. It's white. It is cool. Good base. What year is this car? Uh, this is a 2015. Damon, your 2015 Aventador. I it's absolutely And it's already pre-crashed for you. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so this car came in. What was the hit? Well, what's, what's the story behind this car? Right in this area. Front impact. You can see the push the tire into the firewall. Yeah. Down the side here. And damage down the, car, the side. The car still ran. Only had 9,000 miles on it. That's crazy. So. Do you still have the engine? I already asked no. that question. <laughs> We gotta find an engine. So we need to find the Lamborghini 6.5 liter V12 engine for this project. It will keep the engine. A lot of this car will be fabricated and custom built to the spec of my desire, which is going to blow your minds because it's not gonna do anything this car was originally intended to do. It's gonna do some really crazy shit. The last big so like, project, we had a clean car, the cleanest car. Yeah. Now we're doing the dirtiest car to build into the craziest car. Honestly, I think this is the best way to go, though. Way more affordable. <laughs> I'd say so. <laughs> Instead of buying a $300,000 car, we got this for a few bucks less. A few bucks. I appreciate you selling it to us for two ninety five. I know. I'm glad. This is probably the cheapest. This is the cheapest Lamborghini. <laughs> I bet you the cheapest Lamborghini in the world we just bought. A Ventador. Yeah, for sure. A Ventador. Any Lamborghini, dude. This is crazy. Well, no, he can sell us a cheaper version if I we want the guy there. Yeah, <laughs> the yellow guy up there. So you guys, the reason why we're doing this is simple. The F12 was a clean car. And then we completely stripped it down to basically this and then built it back up using non-Ferrari parts. That is not a good business financial decision. So we're not gonna do that anymore. We're gonna build cars from the chassis all the way up, starting with crashed cars. As long as the base is good, which the tub and the basic structure we need is here, then what we will do is Michael Essa. This is your next project yeah. for me. He'll be doing full tube chassis build for the cage and the cage will be integrated right through the firewall to the front part of the tube chassis. So this is gonna be a full blown race car. It's gonna be my dream Jim Connor car. I always wanted to build a car that would rival Ken Block's Unicorn. And the only way in my opinion to do that is to have a naturally aspirated V12 that revs to 10,000 RPM with a 300 shot of nitrous, a Gintani F1 exhaust, SATF differential, sequential gearbox with the handbrake and the whole nine yards. Basically the Hunicorn, but built from a Lamborghini. That's what we're doing. And we're excited to be a part of it. Very excited to have you as a partner. Because you're funding it. And you also, <laughs> you also have a ton of twin turbo Lamborghini. So when this thing's done, we'll race. Yeah. Right? That's right. Yeah. You will lose. I will, <laughs> I, will drift I will drift around your car while it's parked. And then you go, bye-bye. Yeah. What's wild is, if you can not about this yet, we've never bought a wrecked car before. We've never done it on the channel. This is our first wrecked car. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm humbled level. that you guys chose to do it with us. Well, well we really appreciate price. you having our backs over the last few years with like the things we've yeah. needed. Yeah. So it only made sense. We come to the best. And if you guys need any parts, you know where to come now too. Oh. The teetery tottery. How excited are you guys for this project? This is gonna be awesome. Game changer. What's that? Enjoying your first ride? Yeah! Oh, Tina Totter. Can I get in there? Yeah, hell yeah. My first, <laughs> my first ride in the Aventador. Oh, yeah, it's not even on the thing! There you go. Watch your head, there's glass right there. <laughs> We're good, I got, a, I got a hat on because race car. Dude, Dude this is wild. The last three that have been number is 666. Shut up. Oh. Swear to God. No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not. It is. No. <laughs> Bro, come on. <laughs> ah. Go. David missed the SDJ, she got the replacement. Here you go, racing simulator. Bro, you're so high up. Get out now. <laughs> that's your idea. No, that's what we call a project car. Monster truck Lamborghini. Yeah. Next question, will it fit? There are a couple sharp edges on that one. By the way, here's the inside. You see the carbon tub? A few spare parts are free to win. This is my idea to save a bunch of money because taking a feet $400,000 car and doing the build on it, when all parts aren't used, like we have 12, made no sense. So yeah. pull the sugar and here we are. Okay. 
What's the worst that could happen? Yeah, right? Nothing. It's not our trailer. <laughs> yeah. So cool seeing all the carbon fiber on the Aventador chassis. Four. It's pretty neat. Mike's gonna be real busy next year. That's easy. All right, boys, strap her down. All right. Should we take out the dolly or leave it under? No, I'll leave it. Let's just flip the door up, and when we get there, we'll see what happens. What? Oh, I'm what? What do you have in front there? What car is in front? We're not sure. We're not sure. We just got it. Really? What's it called again? Grum Grumman. A Grumman. Grumman. Okay. GT4. GT4. Wow. Wide? It's a wide body. We Jim just got make it. some money. Okay. This is a pretty big project. <laughs> now I'm sitting here looking at it in the trailer. Like this thing is thrashed. I'm glad we have Mike and Tim and Sean and whoever else we have to hire now. What do you mean check it after a little while? What could possibly go wrong? We cracked the windscreen. I got the title and it says yeah, here the, the car yeah, only had 9,200 miles on it. So it was a little mile of Ventador. Never driven in the rain, always garage kept. I think that's part of the tree it hit. Oh, it hit a tree. <laughs> Douglas fir. And just like that. Wait, Mark, wait, 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 wait. Tim had a personality for a second there. Watch your fingers. And like that, two new cars joined the DDE fleet. And neither run. Mark is wrong. Call me. We need more beef jerky, energy drinks, and some deaf fluid. Because Dave's hard of hearing. You're on YouTube. I'm not on YouTube. You're on YouTube. I am on YouTube. Yeah, right he's on, famous. Guys. Jake Paul? I'm not gonna <laughs> drop that. Jake and Logan. Logan Paul. Right. No, you're Logan. I'm Jake. Nah, he's the brother. I'm Paul. Paul Logan. <laughs> Paul Logan. These interchanges are so intricate. Like, think about how much concrete goes into making these. Like, look at that. It's a freeway in the sky, bro. <laughs> it's a freeway in the sky. Well, we have the short trip of five hours and twenty minutes to getting back to the HQ. Let's party. Woo! All right, it's the next day. We are here at the HQ. We survived a late night trip from AZ back to California. And now we've got Michael Essa. We've got F7 coming to see the reveal of the car. So we've already got David's perfect parking right here. It's nice cool. and straight. <laughs> Mike, you ready? The oh, next project dude, for Michael Essa. There it is. <laughs> Um. <laughs> All right, boys, that get out of got, got a few scratches on it. So we're missing a few things. What do you think of that number? Yo! Yo! <laughs> that, I think, is perfect for this car. Like, it can't get better. Because this car is literally going to be the devil. For fun, I think we get that as a plate. What do you think? Well, give me a month. In a month, we'll wash it off and we'll... <laughs> Dude, look, look at it. There's still a tree. <laughs> it's embedded into there. Dude, that is gnarly. Like, check that out. Like, uh, hey? Oh, uh, do they... The cedar? <laughs> Douglas, Douglas fir. Is that pine? Yeah. Oh, no. Douglas, Douglas fir. Just took a hit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> solid, uh, solid slam right there. And carbon, but carbon's a little, uh, little tweaked. Yep. But here's the good news. Explain, explain to the audience the foundation of this and why this is perfect. So all of this front and rear suspension stuff, we're not going to use it at all. We're going to build a tube chassis car that fits inside of the Aventador carbon tub. So where we're going to have tubes coming through and everything, all of these tubes that we're going to build, which are going to be completely different than the factory stuff, they're all going to get tied in front to rear to middle to cage. Like everything will be built and the car will almost just be around it. For the aesthetic. It's for the aesthetic. We have everything out there, right? So we can attach the doors. We still have all the carbon. We can mount the seats to the carbon tub, but we'll also tie that all into the cage too. Yeah. So it'll be really strong. So what'll be cool is that this will be our full blown V12 Lamborghini Gymkhana car. This will be an all wheel drive car where the F12 is a rear wheel drive drift style car. Also our Gymkhana car, but really at the end of the day, Ken always had all wheel drive cars. And the reason why he did that is because of how quick they could move around. It creates this whole extra element of speed. And really they can do different things. Absolutely. You, you can do things in an all wheel drive car. You just will you never be able to do even in a drift car. Ever. We'll be ordering a custom transmission. A, a trans because no one makes anything for yeah. this transaction because the goal is to build the first mid-engine Gymkhana car because 
Ken never built one of those. We're taking what he's done in his legacy and we want to up the ante and push it to that like, hey, it's a Lamborghini, just ain't care. Let's beat the shit out of it. But it'll have Lambo doors. A real it'll have, Aventador engine. It'll have a real Aventador V12 engine pushing 1,000 horsepower. We want to do the NA sound, so it's going to be an NA motor with NOS. Yep. Nitrous. Yep. Two uh, bottles. I said NOS. Two, two bottles, bottles. Two bottles. Like full sand, all wheel drive. So that's the goal of this thing. So yep. get to it. All right. Dave, give him the money. I spent it on this. <laughs> There's tons of room for activities back here. Yeah, bro. It's, it's like a pickup truck. Wait, <laughs> wait till you see the size of that V12 engine, though. Yeah, oh, it is. Massive. It takes up all the room. Yeah. Dude, you know what's crazy is like you could take off the front and the rear, and this would be like a perfect sim setup. That's exactly what I was yeah. thinking. Dude, like yeah. Yeah. Garage Dude. Garage Dude. exactly. And the I best part room. is when we build this car, the exhaust can come out wherever we want it to come out. Out the front. <laughs> Mark's not building the car. Mark, do you just keep holding the camera, okay? It'd be like a bull with a snort coming out. Oh, of the front. dude, we can have a little bull horns coming. Out. <laughs> there you Damon, the note he sold. You oh know what Mark God. wants to do to his Civic now? Oh gosh. <laughs> All right. More importantly than my current piece of shit. Let's get that out of the way because you guys really need to see the gem in the back of this. It's Tim's first supercar on the channel. Woo. Are you pumped? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't get it running. We tried. So your so guys' good sign. first job is Tim's project is just get the car running. Tim, Tim's job, you mean? Tim's Your, job. Tim's Tim's job is to get it running. Tim's Tim, torch. I want Tim's job right now. You know what? The first video is everything wrong with the car. The whole, oh. whole thing. The long list. What's wrong with oh, it? There's gonna be a list. And then obviously get it running, and then we have to. Well, you'll see. You get some work to do. It's a gift for Tim. Suspension. And not for Mike. You probably need some proper wheels for that car. Yeah. You also need some air in the tires. All right. Let's see if this bad boy still runs. Ready for this, Dave? Cold start. She's a runner. Oh, 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 push. Okay, yep. Back go down, front go up. Back down. Back down. Yeah, back down, front, forward up. Okay. Oh, uh -oh. Uh oh. Watch the pain. <laughs> hey, get to the doorway with the forklift, Mike. Uh, wait, 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 Hey, somebody open the freaking door maybe and move the Huracan and move the race car. What's our plan right now? Let's just leave it in the parking lot. Yeah, put it right here. Our neighbors can enjoy that sight. Okay, park it right here for now. You want me to forklift it? These guys are killing Okay, it's heavy. It's, it's heavy. not heavy. Put it in a parking spot. There you go. Pivot. Pivot. Oh, we lost one. We lost one. Hold on. Get that one. All right, push back. Grab reverse. All right, park it there. Put the e-brake on. Right. You guys trust that right now? Dude, that looks so good. Oh, there it is, dude. It's your dream car, finally at the HQ. <laughs> it looks For real. This is the craziest thing ever that we're gonna have this is actually gonna turn out to be that project. When I think about how it comes full circle, another thing that I was really attached to with my love of cars is honestly Fast and the Furious. And in Fast and the Furious, they show up with just the toasted chassis of the Supra, yeah. right? The dream car. And from that, they built this insane car out of that chassis. This is literally- Sean, knock that off! I don't know why he's gonna ruin my car. We got some uh, wasp, wasp nest over oh, there. sweet. It's a wasp nest. There's wasps in there. Yeah. yeah. They, I don't think they made the drive back from Arizona. How slow Poor Tim was driving. Everybody almost died on that one. Hey, what's that? Drywall. Oh! <laughs> let's get the Tim's car, because that's the real money. All right, let's let's check this thing out. This one doesn't need as much work to get going. All right, you guys, welcome back to the vlog. And Tim has a brand new car. It doesn't run. Yeah. Sheesh. It's cool, right? It's crazy looking. Pretty wild. Yeah, Tim thinks it's yeah, tough. Yeah, have you. No. Dude, wait until you see this thing actually out of the trailer. Yeah? It looks like a McLaren F1 met a Pagani Zonda, met someone who just couldn't afford to make it look like yeah, that, but it looks pretty. 
What's with you and threesomes all the time? 2019, Dave. Weird, Dave. 2019 Dave's coming out again. Settle down, Dave. Settle down. You're getting married in a year. <laughs> <laughs> it's only one for the rest of your life. <laughs> How many more years? <laughs> okay, you two. Okay, you three. Ah! Gas is here. It's the gas yeah! man. Remember Dumb and Dumber, the gas man? <laughs> How did he know good. I have gas? <laughs> Tim, back it up. All right, ready. When you look, this is Tim's car. Oh, for sure. Looks very much like that. That's insane. Sometimes I wonder, you guys. All right, gas man got the gas. Oh, we're doing the gas swap, hey? Yeah. Like Three no, bottles. Nobody communicates. Just do this in silence. Right, yes. Don't acknowledge the, the gas man. See? No one communicates. We don't talk. We just swap. Nice and quiet. We don't acknowledge each other. This isn't happening. Nobody's here. You broke Dude, it. Walk by. It was, why do you hate? Da why do you hate Damon? This no, it was pretty broken. Why do you hate Damon? No, this was, was, this was, was pretty broken. Mike got another project. Mike's got another. Tim has got, got a project. Let's <laughs> <laughs> be clear. This is Tim. This will be clear. This is Tim's project. Uh huh. That's how that works. Eh? Michael can advise, but Tim's doing all the work. Uh huh. After hours. After, hold on, hold on. Tim's doing all the work. Once he's done, my BMW drift car. Oh, Why is it so wide? There's a wide body. Because you said you like big butts and you can't up. Why are you Whoa. on my foot? You're on my foot, Yubi. <laughs> Dude, this thing looks cool in the light. Wait, 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 this is a bad idea. Straight up, dude, you crash your car the first day you get it, you're in trouble. You're pulling a mark. We're just looking at the uh, the very solid contact right there with the tire. Race car. Oh, that's a race hard car. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I like how everyone said it at the same time. It is cool. It's so cool. The door's going up like that. What? Mike, get in there. What do you think? Um, is it man, this is, uh, this is crazy. It's a little race car. It's got a little, it's got a little hydro. <laughs> Did you see that thing? Yeah. <laughs> it's so. Oh, it's so floppy. Yeah, we need a real hydro like in they, this. They put it in with like a sheet metal screw. You want a proper hydro in this? Yeah, probably. So you can so you can come into a corner, get it sliding, and then pop the clutch. Oh, that looks like a four cylinder to me. <laughs> well, that's a matter of opinion, Mike. <laughs> Depends on how you're feeling that day. What's the motor from? It's the motor from an MR2. Is it a 3S GTE? We don't know. I don't. Sean. I don't Think so? I don't think that looks. That's like the 3S GT. Is that Mitsubishi? No, that's a Toyota. Oh, is it? What got, is this engine? We need to find out. There's code right e on the back. E ECU of the Master. We got a giant tank here. I guess, and that's for the air suspension. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that's sick. That's gotta go. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. We need to put real suspension on it. So I think this is a knuckle. So these shocks must be like from the same engine. Whatever that is. The axle right there is hitting the chassis. That's. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> I got a weird vibration. <laughs> That's cool. The taillights aren't hooked up. That's going to be up. That might be a slight uh, violation on the road. Uh, the full subframe from whatever car it came from. So they took like, mm. it's a front wheel drive engine and transmission with the subframe that they took out of whatever car and basically bolted up to this tube chassis. Really? That's crazy. So all these what? all these parts, like the axles, the trans, everything is from whatever the donor car is. It's missing a bunch of studs on the exhaust. Yeah, Tim, sure you got a lot of work to do. <laughs> yeah. We got you a proper project car, bro. This is a real project. But the doors go up. The doors go up. It looks crazy. How does the roof scoop work? The, the air goes through the roof scoop and then it goes over the intercooler. Oh, so it smart. Doesn't, you know, it doesn't get in the way. Dude, we got you a, <laughs> we got you a McLaren. Real ASC McLaren. <laughs> <laughs> bro. This is a legit certified McLaren supercar. Carbon, carbon's peeling. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we drain the oil, get some fresh oil, fresh gas, fresh spark plugs. Let's see if we can get the start. Yeah. Oh, that was Whoa! Whoa. Dude, is, it, is, is this it shiny? Diesel? It's not shiny. It's just, Dude, I don't it's see any glitter, so <laughs> that's good. The only glitter is on Sean's beard from last night. <laughs> Sean, you dog! <laughs> I'm wondering if this whole All chassis the and is. everything is like based off of MR2. Yeah. Gen 1 MR2, yeah. the wedge. Yeah. Gen 1 or Gen 2. That's Tim, you're a Toyota guy, aren't you? Yeah, kind of. You drove a Lexus IS to work today. You have, you're a Toyota guy. Two of them. So you know that Lexus Toyota is the same brand, right? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yes. So it's just like Honda and Acura. Yeah. So here's what here's so what here's they what did. Happened. Here's what they did. People were too proud to drive a Honda and pay the premium for a Honda badge here in North America. So they little Fugazi Fugazi changed the badging and sold it back to you guys as an Acura or a Lexus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it worked on you, Tim. You bougie bastard. <laughs> what, what turbo is it? It's an old Garrett turbo because it still says Honeywell. Nice. Those on the surge. Oh, that means surge. When you take that valve off, it goes. <laughs> do, 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 do. Get the stoo stoos. The, the, air, so the air goes back out. <laughs> do, 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 do. Back through the turbo. Let's it's hear it. It's, it's uh, so it's literally the sound of the turbo trying to be stopped because there's no because <laughs> it's spinning so fast and you close the like throttle the, and it's like it's trying to blow wind one way and it's just or the air's just going back through the blades yeah. the other way. Yeah. The way it was Sick. designed to work. It, it, yeah. It's like the air equivalent of sticking a, a like a screwdriver in your spokes of your bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> Michael asked us really excited about tip. <clears throat> no, it's the Aventador, right? Yeah, about the Aventador. Yeah, yes, that. So that. he's really excited about this. What he wants to do is he wants to basically pull uh, the chassis bits that are on the tub off and clean it up a little bit. Mike's the guy that would take the, the wasp, put in the freezer, freeze it, pull its legs off, and then let it thaw and fly around. That's what you want to do with this thing right now. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> he, it, it works, it works. <laughs> a bumblebee <laughs> in the freezer, it'll fall asleep, and then you can pop its legs off, and it'll <laughs> Settle down, <laughs> psychopath. <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> okay, Canadian psycho right here. We're gonna get this going, then we're gonna pull this inside, and we're gonna see if Tim can actually get that car started. Dude, this so this thing, there's no way we're gonna be able to push this thing up the hill. It's, you can't even turn it. Get your car, we'll get a tow strap and we'll pull it in. Okay. So I don't know where we're gonna hook it up yet. There's something down there. Tim's looking right now, it's Go wet on, on this. You guys got problem. all the bad but dude, ideas today. All the bad ideas. <laughs> we just found something else, Damon, check this out. Just kind of glance around like, oh, those real Brembos? They are real Brembos. Nice. Are they? Yeah, but That's some, cool. something is not right about that caliper. What's wrong with it? That caliper right there yeah. shouldn't be on that side. What do you mean? That's not a right side caliper. The top. bleeders are that's upside a left, down. It's a left side caliper? That's a left side caliper. And I looked on the other side and that's a left side caliper. <laughs> so they were like, dude, I got two calipers. Yeah, they're both on the left, but they're, <laughs> they're Brembo's. They, <laughs> they put it on the wrong side. So this side must have so much air that right now when you drive the car and you hit the brakes, it's gonna pull so hard to the left. Really? Yes. It would do that? Oh yeah. <laughs> and this is just looking at this car. You guys oh, haven't even like dug my, into yeah, it. No, I can't minutes. wait to find all the hidden damage and screwed up stuff on Tim's car. Tim, that's the thing. You guys gotta figure out how much hidden damage is actually on your car. Dude, it's almost like, so when you when you build a project like this, it's like overwhelming amount of work. But then when you get something like this, that's a project car that somebody else has put hands on, oh. and probably multiple shops, and everyone's like, well, I don't want to fix that. I don't want to fix that. Like, there's gonna be so much stuff on this car that we're gonna be like, whoa, what did they do? What were they thinking? And so <laughs> we have the F12 number two. <laughs> All right, boys, hook it up. I got other customers waiting. <laughs> It doesn't help that the wheel is literally like hitting the the front bumper and stopping the wheel from turning. For all those haters that say that Dave never drives his car, he's literally driving his car right now. Look at him, he's in there, he's driving his car. Drives this race car is just to tow another car. Your McLaren's about to get towed by this McLaren. You ready? Ready. All right, Dave. Take off. Hit the brakes, Dave. Hit the brakes. Whoa. Oh, whoa. That door goes up. All right, gotta be careful. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> that was rough. Oh, my wallet. <laughs> I think we're going to put this thing on the forklift, pull the clean front. it up. Yeah, yeah, we got to clean it up. That, that glass needs to get taken care of because that's dangerous. We'll have to figure out how to get out. Maybe a, like a putty spatula. To I, know, it I know a couple of guys down the road that would help us take care of this. They already did. Haters. Let's take this out, clean up the interior, mm -hmm. clean the top. Like, look how dirty it is. Look, just yeah. so that's just for me tapping on the glass. And these boys are going to take off what's left of the rear chassis. And then we're going to be left with a perfectly uncompromised carbon top. It's good to go. That, that's, don't worry about that. Don't worry, It'll don't buff worry up. about that. It'll buff up. <laughs> It'll buff up. <laughs>
<laughs> the best part is, you guys want to know how much we paid for this? How much? Five grand. Deals. Dude, cheapest deal. Aventador ever. It's the cheapest Lamborghini on the planet. Ever. Like, hands down. All right, <laughs> Tim, hit it. Hit it, bro. Hit it, Tim. Get the first nut out. Plus, plus that nut out. Oh, Jeez. that came out real easy. Well, this chassis is definitely tweaked. <laughs> <laughs> dude, those aren't even <laughs> in, dude. <laughs> As Sean would say, damn dog, <laughs> dog. into a tree and rolled on its side. Booyah! Clean up this massive pile of dirt. Apparently, when the dude hit the tree, he also drove through the dirt to hit the tree. It's clean now, though. You can actually work on this thing. Wait, 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 wait. Stop wait, wait. it. Push down on that. Yeah. Okay, keep going. Yeah, keep going. Um, yeah. Hold on, let's reposition this car. Thanks, Dave. You got this? Yep. All right, cool. Clean up for us. Cars and coffee's on Sunday, and I'm just getting my uh, 64 Mustang ready for my weekly drive. What if we made a mount like on your car where the wing is, and we mounted the Aventador? <laughs> on the <laughs> <laughs> I showed up the Aventador on top of my car. <laughs> Flex. Where's my roof off my luggage? I love that Dave's got the detail spray out. Let's go. Even when I bought you this Christmas present, I want to make sure it's delivered <laughs> fit and form. You want me to roll There's still some green there. Get out of here! <laughs> <laughs> All right, and on to his final resting place. Dude, yeah, Mike! Mike, get your donut! Do a donut! You guys went a little too far. There's you guys. We're doing it right this time. Buy a rack car, buy it early, gather parts now, so that before the project starts, we're actually ready to go, versus start tearing apart going, okay, like, Okay, Mike, what do we need now? Yeah, well, we need a transmission, and that's gonna oh, take oh. a year and a half. <laughs> Project's on hold. <laughs> all right, all right, we're good. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Oh! I do, Roto. This pedal does not feel like the brakes work. This is a bad idea. Straight up, dude, you crash your car the first day you get it, you're in trouble. That right now when you drive the car and you hit the brakes, it's gonna pull so hard to the left. Really? Yes. It would do that? Oh yeah. 